folks, Monday Morning Racer, you're behind the wheel with me of the Gearhead Coffee Street Stalker. We're going green at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Have not raced here in this car. Have not raced here at all. This is going to be an interesting ride because in the Street Stalkers on our racing, you pretty much hold it flat out all, array, all the way around at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Started in the rear. Let's see what we can do with 20 laps, 20 laps around Charlotte Motor Speedway. Again, being in a lower class race, I'm just hoping to survive. The cars, it's, you want to make a nice easy turn into the turn. You don't really want to jerk it. The back end will come out on you. But other than that, it's wide open and just hold the wheel. And don't get in the wall, which the number two, he technically cut the track to get underneath me, but that's okay, I'll remember that. We are in 11th position, and it's hard to make ground maybe the cars will transition over 20 laps 18 now to go you don't seem to get much of a run from the outside from what i can tell in practice so yeah we're kind of hoping for some attrition honestly to move up i think i do not know what happened to the two I guess he disconnected. I hope. Or he's out the out. He actually just came over the race chat and he realized that his car blinked out and he didn't know where he was. I didn't know where he was either. That's, that happens in sim racing. Right now, I'm not full throttle. There's nowhere really to go. Just kind of riding, see if there's a place I can stick my nose in, but that's dangerous. Two by two like this, you get into a situation where the only thing you really can do is kind of go three wide, and that's not what I want to do. Two spinning around. Everybody's jockeying. Oh, there, there, there's a part of it. There's a wreck right there. No cautions in these lower divisions right now. And, and as you can see, it's just a matter of holding the wheel and not sliding around too much and 
see what happens ahead of us. We're up here with the main pack. See if we can stay with them. We are in eighth position. Coming to 11 to go. And again, attrition. They're still wrecking. Again, no yellows in this series. That works out. We keep riding. Other guys keep wrecking. We right now are up to fifth. Coming up on some lap traffic. We'll see if we, everybody can get around this car safely. He's going to get out of the way. That's very nice of him. Coming up on the nine, we got ten to go. I don't know what the four was doing there. Dude, you're lapped down. He actually nudged me, got me really loose. Actually letting out of the throttle just a little bit. I'm burping it. I want to make sure not to touch the nine. These cars are pretty loose in the turns. We've tightened up. Trying to hold it on the bottom. Nowhere else to go. Not even full throttle right now. Giving the nine a lot of room. Don't want to get them loose. You can hear me feathering it. Again, I just don't think it's the best thing to press the issue right now. We're coming to five to go. Not really sure what to do doing anything I really feel like it's going to possibly cause a wreck because I stick my nose somewhere and it's not expected to be there and look finishing where we're at wouldn't be a bad day at all but if we can do better we'd like to do better currently fifth right now
We're coming up on lap traffic once again. We'll see how we all navigate this. It's interesting when lap traffic gets involved. Again, not even full throttle right now. I am now, but been riding around, not even full throttle, just making sure to stay with these guys. And the four is awful close to me. I don't like that. I don't know why he's even bothering. He's not a part of the race. Up here in the front and I was considering possibly going to the high side to pick up a position and he's taking that away from me now we're going to be three wide whoa oh just missed that one coming to one to go We've got a shot. We've got a shot. Maybe I can get up to the leader. Not going to have enough to get to the leader, but looks like we're going to come home second somehow. Green flag here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Monday morning racer, I'm in the Gearhead Coffee Street Stalker. Promo code MMR10, 10% off of Gearhead Coffee. The coffee for you as a motorsports fan, as a gearhead, as a motorhead. Gearhead Coffee. Charlotte Motor Speedway, you pretty much hold it wide open and turn the wheel. Except when you're in the pack, yes, learn some throttle management. Let's watch through the race as I come from the back and somehow finish in second. Let's see all that happens. So the two got in the wall. I pass him, getting underneath him. He does actually come back around me. He cuts the track a little bit to get under me in the trioval. That's fine, but what was wild, and it may not show it in the replay, he completely blinked out, and I could not see him for like half a lap. It was wild. It happens in sim racing. I just tried to hold my line and not hit him if he was out there. So I went high. He's got to run. He dips down into the area that's actually out of bounds by incident points for iRacing here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And he gets back around me. Not too long after this, he blinks out. And yes, he's still in the race. He's riding around but I've got no clue where he's at. We're gonna move ahead. We're coming out of turn two. I've got the two ahead of me. And as you are about to see, whoop, he's gone. He was still there. That's why I got to the inside. I held it to the inside. I was waiting for him to come back, hoping I did not run into him. Give it a few moments, he'll be back. Boom, there he is. Sim racing, it happens. We're on lap seven. Into turn one, through turn two, onto the back stretch. You'll notice that we have a two by two pack from first to the nearly all of the field with just a few stragglers behind. Someone wrecking out there. You're about to see the two get hit by the 17. He's taking out. People are jockeying for position. It's getting wilder by the moment and as the laps click down here i am in my gearhead coffee street stalker at charlotte motor speedway i'm like where do i go where do i go in this wreck with the six and the eleven 
And I'm thinking to myself, if I can keep my nose clean, I'll just keep moving ahead and moving ahead with, as I've said before, the attrition factor in these lower license races. Lap 13. I've been following behind the nine for a while now. We have slowly worked up to first, second, and third, and now you have a lead pack from first to fifth, which is the position I'm in currently. The number four, lap down. He's not in the race, yet he's still acting like he is. The number seven got under the number 10, or the number 10 jumped out. And you see this lead pack as we are working it down toward the end of the race. And this is how it rides out for a while. Me behind the 9, the 3, the 10, and the 7 all up front coming to the white flag. We're about to see that. Lap 19, we're coming up on lap traffic. We've also got the 4 in our mix, which is a lap car as well. The seven is leading. I'm in fifth. They wreck out behind us. Finally, we're clear. It's just the leaders all by themselves coming to the white flag. The seven slips up. The three sees his opportunity. He puts the car in there, drives it well, hangs on to it. We're three wide coming into the trioval. Three cuts the track slightly. They cross the stripe three by three by three, and going into one, there's some action. The three rides up, hits the seven, the seven touches the 10 car. The 10 car the, takes out the nine, and it's, well, three and me on the last lap coming to the checkered flag. Was not close enough to get near the three. Maybe if I had a lap, maybe I could have made a move, but to survive the attrition again and come from the back to finish second in a street stock race at Charlotte, and I've never raced there in a street stocker on iRacing, I'll take it. I'll take it. Folks, thank you for watching. I'm the Monday Morning Racer. Check out Gearhead Coffee. I highly recommend the Texas Pecan Beadlock flavor. Check it out. Promo code MMR10 for 10% off. Until next time, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal.